Happy for you. Oh, well, that I haven't got any tea, actually. Would anybody like any cocoa? 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 Yeah, cocoa. Yeah, cocoa. Oh. What happened? Yeah. Oh, well. I haven't got any milk, actually. Would, um, <laughs> would anybody like a glass of water? The taps are still working. <laughs> Come on, what happened? Well, Come on, have a drink. Tomorrow. Nothing's too much trouble. Obviously, Richard's very important, and Daniel, I expect you're very important. I mean, after all, I'm just a son. I'm only here to fill in time until the next transvestite, single-parent, menopausal mutant turns up. It's a <laughs> stunning same, isn't it, Ma? Even now, even now, when I'm here trying to tell her I'm gay, which is the most important and difficult thing I've ever had to do, all of a sudden, there's no time for that, because we've got to sellotape Bob Dylan's guitar together and find social services here, a glass of water. Well, I better go. I'm obviously in the way. Mean you actually want to hear about Rome? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Because I know that I have not listened in the past and I'm sorry. You know, I mean, I, I just get too bound up with the work and the program and Deborah, bitch cow, bitch cow. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Rome. Right. It was like this. As you know, I was in Rome with Julie and everybody thought we were a couple and so I began to think, well, maybe we should be a couple have a holiday romance, so I really tried to fancy her. But all the time I knew I wanted somebody different, somebody taller and darker, and more like Will Carling. <laughs> but I thought, hey, it's just a phase. And then I met this guy, Giovanni, and I got off with him. And I realised it is a phase. A phase that's going to last for the next 60 years. Oh, Michael. I'm really glad you told me. You want to see a photograph of him? Uh, Julie yes. took it on our last morning. Oh, you're in... It's something wrong. Uh, you're in uh, uh, bed together. We're sitting up drinking coffee. I don't think the vice squad will be interested. No, it's just... <laughs> no, I, I thought I'd got used to the idea, but this, this really brings it home. You, um, <clears throat> you actually go to bed with him. It's what being gay is usually about. It's not just having great taste in curtains. <laughs> <laughs> what about condoms? Yeah. We have great taste in condoms, too. I don't mean that. I know. And the answer's yes. Are you going to see him again? He's married. Oh. Perhaps not, then. Mum, I'm still the same person I'm still... Oh, I know that. Listen, I've made a career out of dealing with women who write to me saying, my son's gay, can he have an operation? <laughs> and I always write back and say, you know, you should be proud of your children for what they are. Not for what you think they should be, and I, you know, I do, I do, I really believe that. It's just, you know, I, I suppose I, I suppose I just always thought you'd get married and have babies. I'm sorry if I've disappointed you. No, you haven't disappointed me. You, know, you could never disappoint me. I'm, anyway, it doesn't matter what I think, it's... How do you feel? Hungry. <laughs> what? Well, there wasn't anything to eat here, and Julie's a great friend, but she's an even worse cook than you are. <laughs> Oh, great. I'll get you dinner. I'll cook you whatever you want. No, I'll cook you whatever I can cook. Omelettes. Omelettes. <laughs> and now you talk and I'll cook. You really don't mind? Of course I don't. It's years since I made you an omelette. Ma! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I mean, I mean, no, I don't. I mean, I mean, I mean, the less like your father you are, the better. <laughs> you know the last time you and I spent an evening together? You weighed five pounds, six ounces, and the midwife had just nipped out for a ciggy. <laughs> Wicked. First time in 18 years. Mm. 